jerking off. So please welcome Paul Kalija, Adam Richard, and Tommy Dean. Razor sharp with these boys are only chosen for this segment because of that ability and also the fact that uh, I can give them a plug for uh, for Adam. You're going to be at the Prince, the Prince Patrick Hotel. Prince Patrick Hotel on November five and six. Yeah. In case you didn't know, just yeah. filling you in. And Tommy, you're going to be at the uh, the Valhalla Theatre. That's uh, oh tonight. Yeah, tonight. It? Tonight's the last show for the City Comedy Festival at ten p.m. And then I'm uh, appearing with Adam. So you're doing. No wonder we're doing this segment early. And then you're on the plane <laughs> and you're and you're also what, racing yeah. back. Yeah, no, 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 we're working no. together at the Prince Patrick. Together. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah, getting terrible. And and uh, Paul Collegia is. Um, are you working? Yeah. I've got a few gigs coming up there. Mm. Aren't you? Right. <laughs> he's, uh, he's doing some stunt work for Nicolas Cage. Is he? Oh yes. Yeah. Well, there is. A, yeah, there is. When you look at that, it's like Archie. It looks yeah. like Clint Eastwood. Don't know whether he's not on tonight. Fancy picking no. my timing. To run. <laughs> okay. Um, Go ahead. This is just test your buzzers, uh, Paul. And uh, thank you. Um, so, Adam, Tom, you're working, and uh, good luck as we give you a feed line, you give me the tag, and you get five points. No, ten. Oh, I've forgotten. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's ten for a guff or five for a titter. No, I think it's ten for a correct answer, isn't it? Oh, and that's then, right. And, and five for whatever. Maybe two for a titter. Ten if it gets a, a real big laugh. Right. Uh, all right. What do you call a beautiful woman on the arm of a yobbo? A tattoo. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, the boy's good. He's off with a big fat 10 for Tommy. He's uh, left ahead oh, with a 10. Out of the blocks. Okay. Watching a video is better than sex because... Ball. Uh, you can fast forward the boring bits. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. You, you can ah, re no. he, he jumped in early and he got it. It was only one at a time. Sorry, I should have painted the rules for you. I understand. But he's jumped in, and uh, and uh, it's not the answer I have, though, but it got a great laugh, so I'll give you an eight. Two points behind Tommy. I know, we were going to do five, but we're doing eight. Um, <laughs> it's your show. You do hmm? what you like. Sorry? What was Tommy's? It was Tommy's. What was Tommy's? What was Tommy's answer? Paul's? No, we Paul got just no, did. But what no, was no. Tommy's answer? He had we a funny answer. We don't care. Answer. What was your... Okay, what was your answer? I was just going to say you can rewind to the good bits. <laughs> <laughs> Very cleverly worked out. Yeah. Did you come up with that a fraction after him? Or just, a, just a left back in behind? You can, you can freeze frame that magic moment. No, all right. <laughs> Let's move on to joke number three now for the boys. Uh, you, know, you know you're a bad cook if... Uh, Kerry Ann Kennelly has to come and help you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know you're a bad cook. If that's not the answer I had here, but I did get a love. I'll give you a four for that. Um, you know, you use the. Oh, no, uh, uh, Paul's in, Paul's in. You know you're a bad cook if. Uh, if your boss is Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Um, I'd like to thank McDonald's <laughs> who have sponsored this show oh. for many, many years. <laughs> <laughs> As we did a closing theme. Uh, you know you're a bad cook if the airlines ring you for recipes. <laughs> yes. Uh, put the ticket down for four, Richard. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, uh, you know you're a bad cook if, and we've done just about all the ones we get. Okay, all right. Uh, and I had here, uh, if you uh, use a smoke detector as an oven timer. Um, you, you shouldn't... Um, what shouldn't you say in a lingerie store? Tommy. Oh, this is for my friend's daughter. It's not, it's not what I had here. <laughs> Bloody funny, though. What, uh, uh, what, uh, what shouldn't you say in a lingerie store? Any other takers? Adam. Oh, look, boobies. <laughs> you know, it wasn't remotely funny, but it was the way he said it. Um, four. <laughs> Uh, you're, we're all done here, are we? Yeah. Yes, what shouldn't you say? In a lingerie store, oh, the size won't matter. It's, it's inflatable. Uh, let's go on to this one. Question five. Uh, you know your wife's having an affair with Santa when... 
Um, Adam. She gets excited every time she sees a chimney. <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. I, I got a good, reasonable tip. I'll give a four. Four for that. You know your wife's having an affair with Santa when Paul... When she calls the bird Santa's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> More like workbench. You know your you know your wife's having an affair with Santa when you got anything, Tom? Yeah. Uh, she dresses in tinsel. <laughs> no, not no, one. Got a titter from the front row. Uh, you know your wife's having an affair with Santa when her stockings are full of toys. All right. <laughs> Great. Stupid Jack. That. Um, <laughs> How do you how do you know your I thought someone had gone off before I'd done it. Uh, how do you know your cat is trying to kill you? Tommy. When you hear the sound of a nine millimeter clip being snapped into a pistol and you, just <laughs> as you realize that you haven't fed the cat. <laughs> How do you know your cat is trying to kill you? Any other takers? Adam, Paul, leave that one or? Hmm? No, I, he actually does have your tongue. <laughs> okay. Men are like, men are like mini skirts. And then it's dot, 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 dot. So it's up to you. Men are like mini skirts. Adam. Um, cause there's not much to either of them really. <laughs> <laughs> cause there's not much to either of them. <laughs> Three. Men are like mini skirts. If you're not careful, they'll creep up your legs. All right, let's go here. Who, uh, who got... Okay. He's so dumb, he thinks Y2K... <laughs> Paul? Uh, is that little robot from Star Wars? <laughs> 1.75. He's so dumb, he thinks Y2K... Any other takers? <laughs> so dumb he thinks, why 2 k We know what you're thinking, Adam, but don't even think it. <laughs> <laughs> Is a bra size. All right. Look <laughs> out. Uh, you know you're not getting a <laughs> you know you're not getting a pay rise when You see oh. your boss in Centrelink. <laughs> <laughs> You know you're not getting a pay rise when your desk has a sold sign on it. Let's go for the next one. Don't hit a man with glasses. Paul. Uh, they might have beer in them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Six. Six. Yes. Don't hit a man with glasses. Don't hit a man with glasses. Tommy. It may be Superman. <laughs> <Yeah>. Two. <clears throat> you know your fly's undone if... Paul. Uh, you've hailed a taxi without using your hands? <laughs> <laughs> Better than what I had. <laughs> ten. It's a ten. Uh, ten. <laughs> um, give the other boys a go. You know your fly's undone if... Tommy. You, you hear that dragging noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's stretching things a bit too far, isn't it? I'll give you, I'll give you a five for that one. Um, uh, you know your flies undone if Adam uh, You feel a very stiff breeze. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Zero. Um, when you walk you whistle. Anyway, let's go with this one. You know you're at a bad New Year's Eve party when Adam. Uh, the countdown starts at eleven o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Four thousand three hundred ninety-nine. Four thousand three hundred ninety-eight. You know you're at a bad New Year's Eve party when yes, when and uh, three for that. And where you know you're at a bad New Year's Eve party when Tommy or Paul. Um, when everybody starts bobbing for chips in the deep fryer. No. <laughs> you're, you're only partying like it's 1989. So there you go. The massage parlour was so cheap. <laughs> uh, how come you pressed and Paul... Did you press? Because <laughs> Tommy pressed and Paul's light went off. Paul was supple. Oh, Paul was supple. Okay. I'll, I'll feed you again. I'll feed you again. The massage parlour was so cheap. Uh, it was self-service. <laughs> That's what I had. A ten. I think we might just have a score check now and that could be it. We have Paul who... Oh, on the last question, 
Got the 10 up, 38. Paul has just crept home from Tommy, followed by Adam. Thank our players. And no prizes needed for that. That was the last jacking off for 1999. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Well done, Nicholas.